Hi and welcome to this video tutorial from the Igoterra team. I'm going to show you how you can add observations when you just want to enter a few different species. The function is called add observation by species. Always when you're working with observations you go to the menu under exactly observations. Here you can input information, you can manage your information and you can also get output. Sorry for that. So input, manage and output. In this case, we're going to demonstrate how you add observation by species. So you get a pop-up window and there are three things that are mandatory to enter here. The area, the taxon, which could be a species or a subspecies, and the third thing is the date. So let's say that we want to add an, an observation from Norfolk in England. Always use the drop-down menus because otherwise you will not get a match. Now you get an area of Norfolk in the northeast of England. You then enter the species that you saw, for example, a herring gull or a subspecies of herring gull. Let's choose the species level in this example. Next, you go to location and you can either type in, for example, wealth, and you get a number of options of the already existing locations. You can also zoom in on the map in the normal way and let's say that you use this existing location. North Point Pools in Wells. If you click on this green one you can see that uh, you have this uh, location to be used. You can always move this also to more exact position and then you can see that there's a red line to the location so it is connected. So you can move this around and it will always choose the nearest location and you can see that in this case it is now 1300 meters south of North Point Pools and Wells. You can also if you are for example a long way off let's say that you are on a boat out here and then you can add a new location if you're more than two kilometers away from uh, an existing location. You just type in the name at C of Wells for example and you create a location up here. In this example we will stick to one location so let's pick this one. Worm camp. Then you enter the date, it could be today, yesterday, or any date that you choose. Let's click today. You can have a to date and a from date. You can also have a start time and an end time. You can add a from quantity and a to quantity, for example, if it was five to ten different individuals. You can add a, a, enter more information, like if it was a private uh, observation that you don't want to share with other IgoTerra members. You can mark it as only heard, and you can mark it as don't count. Perhaps you're not sure about the identification. You can also enter uh, sex, gender. You can, from the drop down, add uh, more information about the, the activity, what the bird, for example, was doing. And you can also mark if it was an adult or a breeding, non-breeding or whatever. So all these are in the drop-down menus. You can also enter a public comment that is visible to all other IgoTerra members. You can also enter a private comment that is only visible for yourself. You can also connect your observation to some special uh, uh, personal list that you may have predefined. And uh, you then just click save this observation and the observation is saved successfully and it shows up here. Now you can also enter a photo. You may want to delete this if you made something wrong and enter it again. And you can also go to the species page to get more details about this species. Especially the photo is a quite useful way to, uh, to upload a photo and connect this to the observation. And then you, when you're done, you click down the pop-up uh, window and you get back to the dashboard. So uh, by now we think that you know how to add an observation by species. So thank you for watching.